Hello, everyone on YouTube. And you guys remember Acrello? You know, leave Acrello alone. Well, there's another problem that is arising. And let me tell you something. Now, his ex haunts him. And no, not like a ghost. Boo, I'm going to haunt you. No. She's basically telling people, her audience, about him. And I know she's doing it for the views, guys. Because Acrello isn't someone to lie. See, if you guys have watched Acrello's videos, you would know that he's always got something to back him up. He always shows sources. He's got evidence. He's the type of guy that when he makes his content, he can back it up. That's why he'll show you videos when people try to call him out and it will back up what he's actually said and why. Like when he made the Leave Acrello Alone um, series. So when we had Leave Acrello Alone, uh, yeah, it was a prank that was going around that he created, but it was only ever a prank. And before he even did that, he made a video, a video, letting his audience know he was going to start an inside joke. So he let them know ahead of time. Um, until I go public again, let's start an inside joke. So if you're a follower, let's start an inside joke. Did he not state in that video before he even created the joke? Did he not tell people, let's create an inside joke? And it's not just this video. Everyone knows that he's a practical joker, but they know when he's serious too, because he can always present evidence to back him up. See, he's the type of person that doesn't just speak. He shows evidence. He has sources. Here, let me show you. I didn't say what you said. I have no reason to lie here. I broke up with you. You guys see that part? Now I want you to watch this. And the thing is, like, y'all are acting like I ended the relationship. And I didn't. Did she not confirm what he just said? If she confirmed it, then how is he lying? Now... Another big thing to look at, guys, here, and I mean a big thing. This is part of the fine detail here, is she privated her account. Acrello didn't private his account. She privated her account. You know what that tells you? That she was in the wrong. No, I mean in the past is a joke. Days ago, Acrello, Acrello did private his account for a joke, but he let his audience know ahead of time. So, I mean, his was just for a joke. Hers is because she's been exposed. And I mean, some of you can say, oh, no, she privated her account because uh, his viewers were attacking her. Say what you want. No one would ever private their account if they knew they were not in the wrong. Anyone with a sense of justice would never private their account, no matter how many people attack them. If you did no wrong, you would not need to private your account. You would be strong about it. You would be firm you would sit there and know how to explain to people. You would know what to say. You would not just hide from everyone. And this is how you know Acrello is right. It's because she's the one privating her account after Acrello exposed her. And he had all the proof that he needed, guys. He had evidence. She was sitting there trying to play the victim on her live stream. And Acrello exposed her. So guys, look at that fine detail right there. If you are in the right, you would never need to private your account. Now I want you guys to think hard and clear for a moment here. Why would she be doing this to Acrello? And it's funny that you only see her doing this to Acrello and not others. Now I want you to think hard and clear. What does every famous person have in common? Exactly. They want clout. People want clout, so they do this to famous people. They figure, because I can't be in their movie and I can't become famous myself, I'm just going to play the victim and I'll become instant famous. This happens to a lot of celebrities, random people coming forward, you know, uh, trying to expose this person for this or that. And it doesn't matter. Even if they don't know that person, they're still coming forward. This happens to so many successful people. And I'm telling you, this is the easiest way for them to move up in the world because any publicity is good publicity, they say. So it's just a really bad and horrible way of doing things. 
Wow. You shouldn't lie about it. If you want to become famous, you could always oppose someone in a rightful manner. You could always come at them with the truth. Bring the truth, not lies. Why do all these people want to become instant famous by saying, oh, I dated that person and let me tell you all about them. They were cruel and brutal. And this happens to so many famous people just so they can get a name or a title for themselves. I mean, come on, guys. You're better than that. So anyways, that should explain everything, guys. Acrello is innocent. Leave Acrello alone. Seriously. Anyways, I'm not going to monetize this video because I don't want my friends thinking that I'm using their personal life as a way to gain money. So yeah, I'm not going to be monetizing this video. Um, I'm just doing this to be supportive, just so you guys know. Look at Acrello's past videos, guys. Just watch them, please. You'll see that he presents evidence on his videos um, by someone saying something or they might attack him or whatever. He'll make a video to defend himself by showing what he's actually said. He'll show proof and then he'll throw it back at them. So just please look at his videos, guys. That's all I'm saying.